Hey everyone, Circuit 6, back with episode 3 of the basics for Elite Dangerous. Today we're going to talk about Voice Attack, which is a program that will allow you to control your ship through the uh, use of voice commands. It'll also allow your ship to talk back to you as well, to give you acknowledgement whether or not your voice commands were successful or not. In addition, I'm going to show you some of the websites and tools available to you that can help you out in your gameplay as well as your trading. I will uh, post all the links to everything that we discuss in this video in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Before we get started, uh, in order to use voice attack, you need to set up windows to be able to recognize your voice. Uh, the more you train it, the better it's going to understand you. So to do that, it's relatively simple, it just takes some time. You're going to want to open up your control panel and head on over to speech recognition, uh, and then you want to do train your computer to better understand you. When you start this training, it's gonna give you prompts to read. So here it says, I am now speaking to my computer. I have my microphone muted uh, for this right now, so it's not showing you how it's actually working. But basically you just read everything that it shows you in the training text. And once you get through the training progress, it'll better understand you. Now, I would recommend doing this a couple times. It's gonna give you more and more to read as you go through it. And the more often you do it, the better your computer will understand you. So do this first. Once you have that done, we can head over to Voice Attack's website and download their software. So head over to voiceattack.com, go ahead and download. The trial gives you 21 days of unrestricted use with up to 20 commands on one profile. 20 commands really isn't a whole lot once you start getting into it but it gives you enough to, uh, to try it out. I believe it's only $8 still, and $8 for a program that is as good as this is really a, uh, a very good value in my opinion. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open it up, and you should be prompted with a screen that looks something like this. If it's the demo version, you're not gonna be able to create more than a single profile, but almost everything else should be just about the same. So in Voice Attack, you'll want to go to your Edit Profile button, which is here. Once you click on that, it'll bring up a new dialog. And this dialog will show you all the commands that you currently have configured uh, for that particular profile. So with the full version of uh, Voice Attack, you can have a profile for every game that you own. Uh, but for now, we'll just look at Elite Dangerous and uh, the different commands that I have set up. So. Basically, to make a command, all you have to do is click on New Command and do When I Say. So, for example, I'll say, when I say hello, I want the computer to do something in response. So, when I say hello, I can have it do a key press. So, I click key press. I can say, when I say hello, I want you to press uh, the number one. So, you can see here, it says I'm going to key press number one. And it's going to hold it down for 0.1 seconds. And you can do press key, release key, or you can just do press and release, which is pretty much the default that you can use for mostly everything else. So press and release the one key, hit okay. And then, for example, I want to say something afterwards, I'll say other, say something with text to speech, or you can even have it play a wave file, do many, many other things. But for now, we'll just say, say something with text to speech, and we'll say hello to you. And I'm using Microsoft Zero Desktop as the voice. So hit OK. So when I press, when I say hello, it'll press the one key, and then it'll say hello to you. And I can add it to a category, or I can create a new category. So over here, I'll put testing as my new uh, my new category, and hit OK. So let's hit done, and let me bring up Notepad real quick. So now they have Notepad open. I'm going to go ahead and unmute my other microphone here. And hello. Hello to you. See? There we go. So that worked quite well. I'm not going to save that. Just uh, put my microphone back on mute there. All right. So you can see here uh, it's showing you everything that it thinks it's recognizing. And. Uh, you can see that it did press the one key in response to us saying hello. 
So under profile, there's hello again. So you can go ahead and set everything up and have it respond for whatever you want it to do. And you can also randomize the responses as well. So on say, when I say hello, it says hello to you. I can also have it say something else. So besides hello to you, I can have it say hi. So now with this, the, uh, the two statements separated by a semicolon, it'll randomize the response. So every time I say hello, it'll either say hello to you or it will say hi. You'll never know which one you're going to get. So you can see it says say hello to you or hi. All right. So for some of the more advanced commands, uh, for example, let's see, I've got a lot of these group commands set up. So I have one where I request a uh, request docking. So here we have full docking sequence. So this does everything for me when I'm approaching a, uh, a station. So in this one, I say request dock permissions. And what it will do is it'll cycle through my menu. So I press one, it'll go to my nav menu. It'll wait 0.3 seconds. And then it'll press E, it'll wait 0.3 seconds, press E again. <clears throat> and basically what this does is it goes through and it goes in my nav menu, goes to my contacts, goes to the first contact and then requests docking. So this way I don't have to cycle through all those buttons myself. All I have to do is say full docking sequence and voice attack takes care of everything else for me. So that's one of them. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different commands you can set up and there's a really good guide that can show you how to do the majority of this stuff. So I'll post the link to this in the description. This was uh, a guide to controlling elite dangerous using voice attack. This is written by Commander Flack, and it's a very, very well-written guide. It was written for version alpha 0 0.3, but it really does cover a lot of the basics and uh, some of the more advanced stuff for setting up voice attack for use of the Elite Dangerous, as well as some uh, basic profile settings to get you started as well. So that's pretty much gonna cover it for the voice attack side of things. I'll leave it there. You can play around with it and see how much you like it. The other thing I found was a nice keyboard layout, and this was done by Twix166. And this shows a, uh, all the keystrokes or all the keys you use to control your ship. Uh, it has mostly everything you need. So if you're just getting started into Elite Dangerous, this is a great thing. Just print it out, have it in front of you, and you can see some of the basics, basic commands for controlling your ship. And then the last couple things I want to show you have to deal with trade. So these new trade calculators are coming out, which basically show you the best trade routes based upon your money, how much cargo space you have, where you're coming from, where you're going to. It'll basically show you which commodities are going to trade the highest and give you the most, uh, the most space credits for your time spent. So this one is called Slopies. In this trade tool here, you can basically select where you're coming from and where you're going to. So for example, let's take uh, LFT A80 and we'll go to uh, Ross 1051, for example. Let's say we have 100 cargo spaces like in the, uh, the Lake and Six. And we'll say we have a million credits, right? Go ahead and hit search. And no data to display. That's kind of strange. So let's just try something different here. There we go. So I just did from Bolg to LP64194. And it tells me the best thing to use is mineral extractors. And my total profit would be 17,600 from Bolg to LP64194. This is slow piece, and I'm sure it's going to evolve. Uh, a lot more as the game develops as well. And then the other one here is Thread's Elite Dangerous uh, Trade Tool. So this one, you can say you want a commodity or you have a com commodity and you're in a system, not quite sure what this is all gonna do quite yet. However, you can do your trade calculator. So you can say if you are in uh, Pai Fang, you've got 100 cargo capacity and you've got a million gold and you can jump up to say 15 light years. You can display by profit, so I hit calculate. And it tells me my highest profit would be 17,800 from Pai Fang. 
if I bought fruit and vegetables and sold them in Tillion. And to get to Tillion, you can click here and get route. It'll tell me I have to go from Pi Fang to Draco Draconis and then to Tillion. So some of these will have a lot of jumps, which makes it kind of ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, here's one for example. Seven jumps to make uh, 17,700 profit. So I do like uh, this trade tool just because of the fact that it shows you which places you can go to and how to get there. Whereas Slopies, you have to tell it where you're going from and where you're going to to get your profits. So between the two trade tools, uh, it really can help out quite a bit in determining where you're gonna go to get the most space credits. And then finally, uh, gotta give a Reddit. Uh, so on Reddit, you have Elite Traders and Elite Traders has a big discussion on people finding the best trade runs and with uh, different types of ships. So there's a lake in type nine, 900K with one stop. Uh, there's a LT6 gold hauling route, 232,000 credit profit, which I tried and it's not quite 232,000. It's actually a lot less than that. Uh, but yeah, so these are some of the basic trade tools and uh, groups that are out there, as well as your keyboard layouts, your guides for setting up voice attack, and of course, voice attack by itself. So give it a try. I hope you like these tools and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video.